in favor if, unless somebody wants to speak against it. All right, very well, then I, I, then I reserve my time on this. Mr. Chairman, as with uh, the similar clause that has been added to three-stage voting, I believe that due to the relatively changing nature of what we're going through right now, we really need the ability to move a little bit faster than we have. I am generally in favor of requiring two years on all changes. This is one where I think we are better off giving ourselves the flexibility for the next several years to say, Let's get out of this now. Thank you. Mr. Wallace. I must say that while I am, no, oh, David Wallace. Yes. What, while I am in agreement with the general sympathy or the general feelings behind this amendment that we want to be able to move more quickly, I believe it is the wrong approach to take, and I have a substitute amendment to offer as soon, assu assuming that this one is rejected, and I will urge you to reject it and vote on my amendment instead. Um, I, I have also submitted that. Basically, my approach will be, rather than allowing a vote to not ratify. I'm displaying it right now, your alternative. My alternative. Yes, my alternative is to simply say that any business meeting between now and the ultimate re-ratification of EPH can vote to suspend the effects of EPH for one year. The reason for this is that if we vote not to re-ratify at some intermediate stage, and then we discover that we actually needed EPH, as may be evident in the results of the following year, then it would take two years to bring it back. If instead we use this approach of allowing the business meeting to suspend it if they think it is not needed, then if the results of the next year make it clear that yes, it was needed after all, they can bring it back just by not voting to suspend it for the next year. So I would urge you to vote against the original amendment and then I will immediately put forward this substitute amendment. And that, that's just for a technical reason that I believe that it was not in order to move this as a substitute motion. So. Ms. Secor, for what purpose does the member rise? What? Oh. Ms. Secor, can you come to the microphone? Hang on, I need a timeout. I need a, I need a timeout. Just miss, I need a Where does it go? Uh, it's to either side. Okay. Uh, okay. I think this is prime to. I need the rest of these things. Ms. Secor, go ahead. Mr. Chairman, I'm Kate Secor. Point of parliamentary inquiry. Um, with these re ratify every year things, if in one of the intervening years we amend the thing, does that trigger a re ratification of two years? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> The um, text that is up there is not what I actually submitted. I, I did not submit the strikeouts. It was an addition to, not replacing. Oh, okay. Sorry. That, we'll get to that when we get to your... Mr. Walling, for what purpose does the member rise? Uh, point of information. Please, please hold on. Should this not be an amendment by substitution? The... We're working on Mr. Stanley's amendment, which I don't believe is an amendment by substitution. We're not handling Mr. Wallace's amendment right now because as Mr. Stanley's amendment is not an amendment by substitution, it is not in order to make a second order amendment. So if we get through Mr. Stanley's amendment, then we can get to Mr. Wallace's amendment, and then other things. <laughs> Mr. Is there a second to call in the question? Is there any objection? Wait, wait, wait. I need to know what Kevin Stanley's motion is. The one he submitted in writing beforehand. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we're still on the. Um... I'm, I'm very sorry for the interruption. Quick note from the Sergeant at Arms. Please silence all of your electronic devices. We're hearing a lot up here. Can you come Thank to you. the microphone? This is the motion. 
Why don't I have Kevin's phone that was? Right there. Which one? I remain in Vermontson. Oh, so uh, Mr. Chairman, would Mr. Chairman would this constitute a lesser change? Yes, because it requires re-ratification. It may cause the uh, thing to be in effect for less time. Right. Yes. Um, all right. Is there any objection to calling the question? I didn't actually hear it. Okay. Not hearing none, we're going to vote on Mr. Stanley's amendment. All those in favor? That is stated. It's to require re ratification every meeting until. It requires re ratification every meeting until 2022? 22, 22. Yes. yep. Yes. All those in favor of the amendment, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? I'm going to say the noes have it. Division. Division. How many members wish to have a division? Lots. Uh, enough, I think. I'm going to say that's yeah. enough. Exercise. All right, I, I think we have to do it. <laughs> As we have before, we're going to start on the, my right side of the room. We're going to go front to back, then through the center, front to back, then through my left, front to back. All those in favor of the amendment. Stand up now. If you can't stand, please use your voting card. Very short. I would ask people not to talk. We're going to start at the front. Uh, 31, 32, 64. 65, 66. 67. So start at the front, and I know the videography is that. 67. <coughs> 93, 94, 95. Is there anyone 96. on? 96. 97. What? I don't know. Um, at what point would it be in order to state that I heard two people say 54? It would be in order now. I heard somebody over there say 54, and I heard Michael Lee say 54. I heard that number twice. If if those people disagree with me, I, I freely admit I to be wrong. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Yeah, right. I heard that. Okay. Thank you. It's one word. <coughs> right, what, what were you? My count was 96. Yep, yep. that's Ni correct. 96. All right. All those opposed to the amendment, please rise. Same process. <laughs> 